Hey, Reject Nation, Greg Alba here. And I'm John. We are going to be catching up on some E3 trailers here. Got several guests scheduled over the next few days. Everyone's on a different schedule for us. We want to keep it with people who are familiar with a lot of these franchises already. People who are much more informed than us. However, there's a game trailer out that got a lot of requests that is brand new. So we can talk about this <laughs> one. Cyberpunk 2077 uh, or 2077 or I don't care how to say it. Brand new game, I'm excited to check it out. Before we go into this, I wanted to give an announcement. Uh, I mentioned this with a couple of videos with Stacey Howard already. John and I are gonna be hosting our very first ever live event that's like a hybrid of a special show plus a meet and greet at Arena Cine Lounge on Sunset Boulevard. Keep a look at on our social media for official posts and where to get tickets and everything. And tickets will be very cheap, don't worry. We wanna hang out with you guys before and after and during the show. What we're gonna be doing for the show, it's gonna be like a live film therapy event. If you've ever seen Brianne Chandler's Miss Movies segment, she's actually gonna be monitoring the questions for us on July 7th. It's gonna be a live film therapy event where basically she asks us questions about how certain films have affected our lives and we'll be playing clips on the screen over there because it's at a movie theater. You know, we're gonna get better at communicating exactly how this works. It's gonna be a fun interactive segment. We're gonna get questions from the audience and then the questions Brianne has prepared for us will allow us to play certain clips, be able to screen it on the big screen that they have at the Arena Cine Lounge. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. We're excited to be holding the event too because it's gonna be a small event. We don't want it to be like some massive thing. It's it's intimate, a, The man. theater only fits about 50 people. Like, it's a really nice screen, but the, the seating is only 50 people. The first 50 to get tickets are gonna be able to come to this. Pack them in! Pack them in, people. It'll be July 7th, that is a Saturday. Hope to see you there. Night in 2077, city. they voted my city the worst place to live in America. <laughs> cool. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, <laughs> and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Can't deny it, it's all true. Nice. Everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie. An illusion. But it's there. Just Ready player one? Corner. Yeah. And it keeps you going. Whoa. No. Ha. Whoa. Damn. Oh. City of dreams. <laughs> and I'm a big dreamer. That looks wicked. That looks crazy, man. That reminds me of all kinds of awesome futuristic set movies that have an addiction to technology advancements and getting way out of hand when and like the criminal underworld is overruling a lot. Like kind of have that Blade Runner, a Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, I thought <laughs> yeah. of Blade Runner. I thought of Ghost in the Shell. I thought of Ready Player One. I thought of like Elysium, Elysium, with, like, those scuzzy yeah. looking like mercenary types. Some elements whatnot. of a RoboCop, except not as dirty or grungy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cyberpunk look kind of has uh, a little bit of that like, dread vibe. A hint of Terminator Cyberpunk, just a hint. Maybe because I'm just thinking of Bill Paxson in the first one. Oh yeah, yeah. the, the yeah. blue mohawk. Every time I see a blue mohawk, I'm I just right Bill right Paxson. Yeah. A Ready Player One with his VR. A couple yeah. moments that look ripped right out of that, but I mean, and Ready Player One is ripped just right out of other stuff. Yeah. But just the aesthetics of this game alone. I mean, Cyberpunk is such a cool aesthetic genre. Oh, so totally. to, to see not only just all these mods and all these different like punky characters, yeah, yeah. like it really does look like those inner city wastelands that you would see in like an 80s movie or something yeah, like yeah. that, but ramped up with all the sci-fi. Yeah. I wonder what the gameplay is gonna be like on this, because this is mostly like a cinematic trailer. Oh, movie. this is a game? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was just a movie we were watching. <laughs> you can use your hands. It's like a baby's toy. I heard this takes place in California. Ooh. I, heard, I heard Night City is like a fictional spot of California. Well, you know, you never just... you never get enough games to take place in California. <laughs> and clearly, people think very highly of our state when they yeah. say games. <laughs> I mean, with the kind of uh, technology game this is, and this is, I'm assuming, open world. If it's an open world game, I imagine it's one of those games where you can create a character just from scratch. I mean, you even see a lot of like artificial intelligence intelligence elements in here yeah. so i'm imagining that you can create a character and i love when games allow you to do that this just seems like the uh, the most awesome world to be a part of and will probably be a great online uh, video game to play well it's rad when a video game can get you excited just to explore the world and go on side quests yeah. you know it's like stuff that distracts <laughs> from the main plot or whatever because I, I almost got like a really futury grand theft auto kind of vibe oh definitely this. i'm like almost done with the first red Dead redemption right now that's one of my favorite things is like just going on those random side quests all yeah, the time and yeah. like ah screw the main storyline for now yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or like fallout like yeah. i was playing fallout 3 like i could never resist like helping some yeah. kind of zombie guy out because why not but yeah man this game looks sweet it looks really awesome i can't wait to pick it up and i and i uh, hope we get a gameplay trailer soon because it's really easy to get sucked in with awesome cinematic trailer footage yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna have to invest in an xbox one or a ps4 or something we, like that you yeah yeah that's right i i will contribute that all right guys we'll leave your comments down because we are going off of the most requested over the guests that we have scheduled the next few days so keep a lookout i know for sure i'm going to be on top of the last of us part two because i've actually beat the first one you can subscribe to the real rejects click that notification bell check us out on patreon full length tv show reactions weekly q a's music video coverage get tickets to arena cine lounge july 7th john humphrey and i will be there brianne chandler stacy howard trying to get some more people to come out and make an appearance too but it'll be a ton a ton of fun